yeah, and situation. I've heard, I haven't really like heard a lot of girls admit to it, but I've heard that the labiaplasty surgery is pretty popular, which what? I find kind of disturbing. There's like 10,000 a year in the U.S. that people get labiaplasty. I'm very what? much against it. I mean, Ladies there are some it. ugly ones out there, I guess, but like, no, it just seems on, like they're a, all great. No, they're all but great. it just seems like a strange thing. to. But do you think that's happening because there's so much out there so women are oh, constantly God. comparing okay. themselves? Yeah, no, I mean, probably. Like, well, I mean, one of the arguments is that like in... And I think that's changing because, I mean, if you look, there's definitely uh, certain actress, adult actresses that uh, have large labia. Like, but in the past, yeah. like in with uh, typically in print, I think back in the 90s, I think there was definitely talk of like airbrushing mm -hmm. or they would select women specifically who uh, were not, were, who had innies, let's say. I love my yeah. wife's labia. Cause like I think if, you're, if we live yeah, in a society where it's if we live in a society that's like heavy objectification on women's body parts, it's understandable why some women feel so insecure about their body parts, and that's that goes back to the kind of our whole position on sex is just for two people in a forever lifelong commitment. Because then you're not comparing, you know, you're not constantly Word? comparing your body Word? to somebody else's body. Well, we we're got all some... artwork. We're all God's creation. Just because I didn't find my soulmate yet. Oh doesn't mean I'm not his piece of art or creation or anything less than that. He's well, probably watching right now. He is. That's why the power you, is in the you are, you are God's work of art. No. I know. You are God's I know. Believe me, I don't and need you to tell me that. And, but that's, I get it. That's, that's part of why. Because We're on the same side. It's just like, it's not my fault that you got to meet your husband for. I did. This, I, I don't think anyone's saying it's anyone's yeah, fault. Not, I think we're saying there no, comes like, a degree you of You are judging my life because I didn't meet my husband I, I, as <laughs> early as you met your wife. Just I don't think that that's what Ruth Leonard It is. It's just a conversation. All right. So we actually have the same core values. We have Flynn Life here. Ayo Raspy. Oh, hold on. Let me pull it up. Hey, yo, Raspy, I still don't understand the ratio. Please explain. Oh, and I remember my first beer. So Chill on the alcohol. Flan Life is funny. Do you have a response to Flan Life? If you don't understand ratios, I, like, literally can't help you. Like, you learn ratios in fourth grade. I don't know, man. That... So, like, I just why grew up running trains on chicks with my friends, and then it kind of became <laughs> weird to, like, end up in a relationship with a girl that I essentially kind of did that with in the early days. It was days. a threesome. Yeah, it was a threesome. But still, you know, it's like you, you kind of like, even if you like doing that, if you can get down with running the train, which like a huge percentage of dudes that I know mm -hmm. at some point when they were younger, they did that. But then like, you know, you just don't wife up a girl like that, right? Well, I'm proving that you can and you should. What? You guys have a daughter? Is yes. that right? So I've got two sons. I hope we have a daughter. We'll see what God does. Yes. But I'll see. But um, what do you think for your daughter? Like, do you would you want your daughter to go down the path you've gone down with? No. Why is that? Um, because I feel like she should choose whatever you know career or pursuit she wants to pursue. If she found herself as an adult one day, having explored a variety of different options, and that was what she ultimately wanted to do. Uh, it wouldn't really be my choice at that point, but for sure I would rather her pursue, you know, art or music or, or But business. like a lot of daughters like admire their mothers and want to be like their mothers. So let's say she's 17 about to turn 18 and she's like, I want to be like my mom. Like she's successful. My dad seems to really love her and, you know, is committed to her. I want to do porn. How would that make you feel? I mean, I would want her to do it in the safest way possible and I would want to make sure that I could help her if she needed that help but i'd like adam like i would rather her do something else like when i got into porn i had already had a degree i'd had multiple different jobs and i was super broke and i like this wasn't my first choice but i was like okay i'm just gonna take photos and then i'll have the freedom to do whatever else i want with my life and that is how it started mm -hmm. and then we started dating and we just we were already like making f in our personal life like we'd f and then we'd film it and it was kind of just like but why if there's, not if there's nothing wrong with why would you want her to do other things first why would you have any issue at all with her going into it I just think that it's kind of limiting for the future of your life afterwards, you know, like we don't really have any doubt about the fact that her degree would be kind of useless to her at this point in terms of getting into another career and you see girls dealing with that all the time. I just don't think that it's like necessarily a good thing for a girl to get into because she's 18 and she doesn't feel like getting a job. Like it just is not, you know, like the reason why me and her got into it is legitimately because 
well, especially in her case, mm-hmm. and she had a super normal, regular job, and she just wanted to achieve some degree of financial freedom and to be able to do what she wanted with her time. And, you know, I got into it not really necessarily having to do it, but just because I wanted to, you know, make content with her and but we you, enjoy it, you know? But, like, aside, if my daughter was, like, wanted to explore her sexuality, like, I don't think that's a bad thing. Like, I don't think that's unethical. But you no. just, you guys just both acknowledge you wouldn't want your daughter to do that. It wouldn't be it's my not ideal my first choice, thing. But so, isn't that a bit inconsistent, though, to create something that you wouldn't want your offspring? Like, we want our kids to be better than us. So, why would you want them to do that? Like, if they're well, aspiring for I you to. I feel like what I'm doing allows my daughter to have a better life. Like, I am able to, we're going to be able to like put her through private school because I have the life that I have now. Like I wouldn't have been able to give her that without that. My dad was a social worker and for sure he wanted me to be something bigger and better than a social worker. You know, it's like you always want your kid to do better than you would want to do. You know, I would love if my daughter was, you know, some, some famed, uh, you know, artist or something that would be amazing. Do I necessarily think that that's in the cards? I mean, that's kind of. A roll of the dice. You never know what your kid's going to get. How much is it? How much is enough? Like financially, like at what point does it just like you, 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 I feel like you guys intrinsically know this isn't helpful. No, I think it's as long as you're having fun. Like yeah. whenever we go and but is there a dollar a day, amount? it's like, no, it's, not a it's, dollar it's basically just like, it's fun. Like I look at my calendar and we're hooking up with a couple of chicks that day and I'm like, oh wow, what a great Wednesday. It's like yeah, very it's profitable like if it, and If it didn't fun. feel good anymore, like yeah. there are times. I mean, meth feels good. Like sometimes we have more sex on camera than we do off camera and those weeks I don't feel like as connected to him. I'm like, wow, we've just been working so much. Like I don't feel like we've been fostering our relationship and in those weeks, if like we didn't take that break and that pause and talk about it and reconnect then I could see myself being like I don't want to do this anymore because it's interfering with our relationship and meth does feel good but the downside of meth is much worse you You think there's any having actually done it it's not that great whereas the downside of having you know a threesome with some girl on camera is that at the end of the money you get a bunch of money in the mail so to me in in the interim there's a there's a you guys don't know potential consequences down the road I mean we've been doing it for a long time and I wouldn't really say that we've encountered many negative consequences from it just a bunch of fun and cash I do I do have to move on 